a section plane perpendicular to VP and inclined to HP such that it passes through the two opposite corners of the rectangular face in front. Draw sectional top view, front view and true shape of the section. So, how to draw this? Let me draw this problem. So, here first a square is given of side length 50 mm. So, first step is to draw a square below x y line having side length 50 millimeter and after drawing this square we take projection from a top view and draw its front view and as it is a square prism the front view would be rectangle and height of this rectangle is 80 millimeter. So, from this end we have to draw projection line like this from this end draw projection line like this name the end points and this is the front view. Now, after drawing this top view and front view we have to draw a cutting plane which will pass through the opposite diagonal this one this point and this point. So, join these two points with a straight line and this is a cutting plane up to this the data is given. Now, we have to draw the sectional front view. So, for that sectional top view. So, for that let me name the end points say here point number 1 is there here two points would be there. So, 1, 2, 3 and 4, 4 points are there and accordingly 1 days, 2 days sorry 1, 2, 3 and 4 dash point would be in front view like this. 1 days, 2 days, 3 days, 4 days would be in front view and in top view 1, 2, 3, 4 points would be there. Now, if we cut this cutting plane, this front view like this and if we are looking from this top, so if you are looking from here what do you say about the shape? Here total shape would be visible hence this total square would be visible. So, in this square we have to draw section lines like this. This section line represents the sectional top view of this solid right. You can write here it is a sectional top view. Now, how to draw the true shape of this section? So, for that the first step is to draw lines perpendicular to this cutting plane line from respective points. We have we here we have identified four points one days, two days, three days and four days. So, from each points draw a line like this. This line is perpendicular to the cutting plane line and it passes through all four points like this right. Now, draw a reference plane anywhere to the right side of this or any side to this cutting plane and this is called as the reference plane. It would be somewhere here. Let me draw it somewhere here. So, both these lines are parallel to each other. We can name this as the x days y days. Now, to draw the true shape of this section, let me measure the distance of appropriate points in top view. Say for example, point number 1 days is here. So, measure the distance of point number 1 from x y line like this x y line to point number 1. Measure this distance line from point 1 days is drawn over here. So, put it over here and cut an arc over here and that arc will cut somewhere here and locate that point this is our point number 1 somewhere here this is point number 1. Similarly, point number 2 or point number 4 let me take that one it is at the same distance point number 4 measure this distance from point number 4 draw a line this is a line and take this point as the center draw an arc. So, point number 4 would be somewhere here and locate that point this is point number 4. Right, two points have been identified. Now, point number one, two, and three. So, for that, measure this distance. X y line to point number two and x y line to point number three both will be same. So, x y line to point number two and x y line to point number three. So, we do have two more points over here. Point number two and point number three. Now, join all these four points with a straight line, and that would be 
a rectangle like this rectangle 1 2 3 4 and as it is a true shape here also we have to draw section lines but whenever you draw section line that section line should be should make an angle of 45 degree with reference line not with x y line students do mistake over here they draw section lines which makes an angle of 45 degree with x y line but it is wrong here reference line is this one x des y des is the reference line so we have to draw these section lines which makes an angle of 45 degree with this x des y des line so this is the true shape you can dry, write the name it is a true shape of the section this is say front view and this is top view of course it is a sectional top view you also can insert the dimensions as it is a square the square dimension is to be inserted like this draw two lines right here do not insert all four dimensions or all four sides by four 50 just write sq50 it means that it is a square of side length 50 millimeter similarly you can insert its height that is 80 millimeter this is the standard align method of, met align method of dimensioning 80 millimeter and this upper portion can be removed or make it lighter so i hope this is the solution of the problem and i hope it is clear to you it is redrawn over here here the names of respective points are given height is 80 millimeter square 50 and here also it is asked that we have to measure the angle of this cutting plane so measure this angle which is asked in the data we have to measure the angle of this cutting plane and this is the true shape of the section now problem number two the data of second problem is given like this a cone base diameter 60 millimeter and axis length 75 millimeter is kept on its base on the ground it is cut by a sectional plane perpendicular to hp and inclined at 60 degree to vertical plane at a distance of 8 millimeter from top view of the axis draw sectional elevation and a true shape of the section here the solid is given as a cone and it is resting on its circular base so first we will draw its top view and front view that is circle and triangle respectively and after that the section plane is given which is perpendicular to hp and inclined to 60 degree to vertical plane so in which view it would appear as a straight line angle with vp is given so in the top view the cutting plane would appear as a straight line so first we have to draw front view and top view after that in top view the cutting plane line will be visible as a straight line and the position of cutting plane line is given it is 8 millimeter away from top view of the axis so in the top view we have to draw a cutting plane which is at a distance of 8 millimeter from the center of the circle you write a small data like this cone 60 by 75 resting on base on ground and section plane is 60 degree to vp and 8 mm away from the axis this full data we can write in short like this so first draw xy line which represents intersection of hp and vp and draw a circle below xy line diameter 60 millimeter it is clear up till now it is clear to us now insert the dimension 560 diameter is represented by phi draw its section lines vertical axis of the solid and from two end points draw projection lines up to xy line and height of this cone is given that is 75 millimeter so mark a point on this axis at a distance of 75 millimeter from xy line on this axis at this point and join this apex point with this base point so this is the front view of this cone having diameter 60 millimeter and height 75 millimeter so these first two lines are drawn now draw this problem 
now let me draw this problem so for that up till now we have drawn right front view and top view then it is given that it is cut by a cutting plane which makes an angle of 60 degree with vp and at a distance of 8 mm from its axis so this is this one is the axis this one and from this axis we have to draw a line at an angle of 60 degree with xy line and parallel to this line draw a section plane at a distance of 8 mm so here this distance is 8 mm which is the distance between the cutting plane and axis of the solid in top view this is very important you take this distance as 8 mm now after then draw here a cutting plane like this now to draw its true shape and sectional views we divide the outer periphery of this cone into equal number of parts with imaginary lines so here top view is divided into 12 equal parts and generators 12 generators are there so let we start from here here is point number 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 twelve points are there or the outer periphery of this cone and appropriately in front view one days two days three days four days five days six days seven days eight days nine days ten days eleven days and twelve days twelve points would be here this is apex point o and here is apex point o des now find out the point of intersection between this cutting plane and this imaginary generators so first one would be here on this 1 to 12 in between 1 and 12 one point would be here so name that point as point number a right and that is on the base of this cone so from this point draw a straight vertical line point number a and it will cut this base at one point somewhere here so that is the first point that we have located in front view now second point think about this one on generator o1 intersection of this cutting plane and generator o1 this is the point from this point draw a straight vertical line like this and this straight vertical line will cut generator o des 1 des here is generator o des 1 des at one point that is somewhere here i hope it's clear let me zoom that this one vertical line from o1 this one to o des 1 des here this is point number 1 or point number 2 whatever name you can give now about point 2 o2 generator is here so from this point intersection of o2 and this cutting plane is one point this point so from this point draw a straight vertical line that will cut o des 2 des generator o des 2 des is this generator at this point so here is that point you can name it point number b o3 is here so from 3 draw straight vertical line this is 3 so it will cut o des 3 des at this point similarly o4 is here so from 4 draw straight vertical line it will cut o des 4 des at this point what's about 5 let me first draw this one this is on the base over here so here is the point now what's about o5 5 is here right so for that we have to draw an arc and by drawing that arc we have to find out its true position in front view so for that first draw an arc like this take this point as a apex point as a center or center of the circle as a center draw an arc like this and this arc make this horizontal or parallel to its axis like this it will cut o8 at this point from that point draw straight vertical line right like right and after that it will cut this true length of the generator o des 8 des at this point from that point draw straight horizontal line 
and that will cut this four days, five days at this point. So this is the point. Now join all these points with the smooth curve. It would appear like this. Here straight line, straight line will not be there as it's a cone. So true shape would be there, and as it's a front view, it's a sectional front view, like this. So draw section lines in this section. All lines should be equidistant and should made should make an angle of 45 degree with the reference line x y. This is the reference line x y, which also represents intersection of H P and V P. And this is the you can write it's a sectional front view. It's a top view. Now what's about true shape of the section? If we are looking from the front, this line is inclined at certain angle to x y line say a b so it's not true shape so how to draw the true shape of that section so for that the similar exercise which we did in the first problem should be done over here locate the points on this cutting plane draw lines perpendicular to this cut, that cutting plane line from all these points say from point a b c d e f like this the lines perpendicular to this cutting plane line that will pass through all these points identified over here then draw a reference line anywhere but it should be parallel to our cutting plane line you can draw this cut this reference line anywhere it's a just a reference right you can name that reference line as x dash y dash or x1 any name should be could be given now identify the position of the points here point number a is on the base here so first point would be here and b point is here so second point or last point would be here now what's about intermediate points so measure the distance of each point in the front view like this measure this distance cut arc over here so that will cut this line at this point one arc is here then this one upper arc point uh, arc from point number 3 this one so from 3 this is the line like this so we can locate all the points like this 